In the new summer special update, Rockstar added a new Easter egg scavenger hunt mode. And this is actually a really well done hunt around the map for various objects. We've seen this before with Rockstar, but this one has a little bit of uniqueness to it. You may notice on your map, there's an S. Now it's not on my map because I've already visited the place, but if you have yet to visit Solomon's office near the movie studio, that's where a giant S on your map will be. Now I'm just gonna show you guys where this is. This is again by the movie studio. Simply walk into his office. You'll see the little blue circles. I think if you haven't visited there, they might be gold, but just go in and you'll see his office is a crime scene. Usually there are cops in here sometimes, I guess there's not, but this is what triggers this new scavenger hunt. And it's actually not as bad as some of the other ones. A lot of the other ones in the game are like 30, 40, 50, 60 pieces you have to find. This one is only 10. And they're actually really easy to find. You can do this in maybe even under an hour. Getting into the locations, the first movie prop you find is actually right by the door. Simply walk out and once you're down the stairs, go to the left and by the trash can, you will see something blinking. And there is your first movie prop. All you have to do is walk up, pick it up, and then return it. Now I will say you don't need to return each individual one. You can do them in bulk. So you can collect this one and you can collect the, well, you can collect seven, return them and then continue on. So don't worry, you don't need to go back to his office after every single one. Although I just do it just to show you guys what it looks like. Once you do return it, it'll say however many props out of 10 returned. And you actually get $10,000 per prop. So it's not terrible. All in all, I believe you're gonna end up getting 150K for doing this whole thing. Now the second prop is actually at the strip club. You guys know where the strip club is. I don't need to show you guys on the map but it's actually in the back room. Now you can't get in the back room without a dancer. Well, don't bother wasting your time with that. Just go outside, kill the bouncer and storm the place with a gun. This allows you in the back room without a dancer. Once you're in the back room, simply go as far back as you can, go through all the doors. And once you hit the end, you should see on one of the desks a pulsating object and that is your second movie prop and just because i was curious about this if you do end up dying while having a movie prop it doesn't drop it or return it back to the location you just simply die and you can continue on so you don't need to worry about dying during this whole process the third movie prop is actually at fort zancudo you guys know where that's at this is actually in the control tower now because I did not know exactly where this was at. I decided, you know what? Let's walk up to the very freaking top of the control tower, which takes so freaking long. By the way, I thought the elevator in this place worked. Am I just going crazy there? Anyway, I get up to the top and I freaking die. Oh, I was livid. Then I tried again. Took me a freaking minute and a half to walk up these damn stairs only to find out the thing isn't actually up there. So don't be the idiot like me and walk up to the very top. It's actually in the first room once you go in the doors like from outside. It's right next to all the monitors and you can pick it up. Now this one will be a little tricky if you do not have a hanger inside of Fort Zancudo. I do, therefore I don't get stars when I go into the military base. If you don't have a hangar in Fort Zancudo, I would probably recommend getting Lester to take the cops off of you. Like there's an option, I think it's cops turn a blind eye. That should let you in the military base without getting any stars. The fourth movie prop location is actually up near Mount Chiliad. It's in that camp where the people are freaking crazy and naked. This one's relatively easy to get if you're quick enough on an oppressor mark II or some sort of flying vehicle it's at the far end of their camp where the edge is you should see the giant head on the rock simply just pick it up and then get out of there before they do kill you and just to show you guys a specific location here it is on the map if you look on the map you can see their little structures on it so it's relatively easy to find the fifth one is probably the easiest one one of the easiest ones to find 
it's on this little house to the left of Sandy Shores, kind of like in the middle of the map. You should see it's on the map. It's the one house off of this highway, and it's simply just on the front porch. Go ahead and pick that up, and we can continue our journey. The sixth one is near the alien mural in Sandy Shores. This one is relatively easy to get as well. Simply just go up to the very top and you should see the alien head sitting on top of the little ledge. And then the seventh one that is also easily found. This one's gonna take us to the Diamond Casino. Simply go inside of the Diamond Casino, head all the way to the back and then go into the right hand side bathroom. There are two bathrooms. If you go into one and it's not there, go into the other one, but it's usually on the right. I think it's always on the right side and it's right here next to the urinal. Simply pick that up. And then from here, you actually might wanna go back and return all seven of these to Solomon's office. And the reason is because these final three aren't actually stationary. They are in moving vehicles and this these three are the ones that might cause you the most headaches. Now, I have maps of all three of these locations. These were made by the GTA forums members. The first one we're gonna take a look at is on the left-hand side of the map, kind of north of the city. These are the three locations we're gonna fly over. You can see there's the mall, the street, and then kind of near Eclipse Towers. Now, actually, before we get into the maps, the only thing you wanna do before you go searching is make sure your last or your spawn location is set to last location. The reason you're gonna be switching lobbies because it's easier. I mean, I guess you don't need to do this, but I feel like switching lobbies is a lot quicker to get all three. So the map at the bottom right, you can see the three locations. We're just gonna take our oppressor mark two. You can just send a buzzer, you can just send whatever you want. We're just gonna fly near those locations. And if you don't see a blue dot on your mini map right away, it's not gonna spawn. So you don't need to like wait here or anything. Simply just fly over them. They're not there. That's it. Find a new session. Well, first actually fly a little bit of ways and then find a new session. I believe if you spawn near this, these locations, it might not spawn it. So just give yourself a little buffer when you do find the new session. Eventually though, you will see I am just flying around on the road and on the mini map it appears you can see the blue dot and there is the first van it's really simple you just park in front of them steal it and then bring it back to solomon's i thought there'd be some fight in this but in all reality there wasn't any the ninth prop we're gonna take a look at is near lester's office here is the map of the three locations it can spawn kind of right near Lester's office. You have the bridge and then you have, I guess, the uh, alleyway. And we're gonna do the same thing like we did before. We're just gonna fly over all three of lo those locations constantly until we find it. So we're gonna fly over them, don't see it. Go ahead, find a new session. And eventually you will see it spawn at one of the locations. Now for me, it was inside of the alleyway and just simply pick it up, drive it back to Solomon's and then you have your ninth prop. The final one is all the way up in Polito Bay. So this is gonna be a little bit annoying because you have to drive all the way up here, all the way down to Solomon's. But these are the three locations. You have one on the road, on the highway, and then two in the actual town of Polito. We're gonna deploy the same steps as we just did. And eventually I actually found it while not even on an oppressor. I was just on a regular bike and it spawned on the highway. Now I decided to actually turn myself into a solo public lobby just in case people decided, hey, let me blow this guy up. I did not want that to happen because I didn't want to have to do this again. You can actually do this in an invite only lobby. So you may want to start there first, but do just be careful. I don't know what would happen if someone blew these up, but I didn't want to test it because I didn't want to have to go through the whole process again. But that is where you find all 10 of them. Once you do find all 10 of them, this is what happens. You get a text at the bottom left from Solomon and he actually tells you to head back to his office. We're gonna go inside of his office and he leaves us a little present. We're gonna go to the box. We're gonna open it up and boom, we are now an alien. So this is the same alien you can get in single player, but now we can get it in online. 
you can save this as an outfit if you go to your you know if you go to the clothing shop i think you can even do some glitches to customize it a little bit but no longer do you have to be the bright green alien spandex suit you can be an actual alien in gta online so that is a guide on all 10 movie prop locations hopefully it helps you guys out hopefully you go around finding these again it shouldn't take too long it's really going to come down to those last three and if you get lucky or not but by switching the sessions like i showed it should help with that thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always see you guys in the next one